and rebound. All right, let's go. Pumps, one, two, three. It's been a long year. It's been a hard year. Three months have passed since a young man from Northeast Colorado was killed in a car crash on his way to school. Cole Rhodes had recently transferred to Caliche High so he could play basketball on his cousin's team. As Nine News storytellers Kevin Torres and Chris Hansen show us, the Caliche Buffaloes made it to the state championship finals this weekend where they played for their teammate, Cole. Let's take it to them right from the start. There they go. Get around him. Up the court. Watch him, Joel. Watch him, Joel. Moving fast. Don't be lazy now. Take care of it. All right, rebound. Without a care in the world. <laughs> hey, hey, official. You can't do that. Right, let's go rebound right here, all right? Oh, my gosh. You're not going to call a foul? The only fouls in this game are coming from the mouths of the fans sitting in the stands. You can't do that. Hey, why? Good, Andrew. This is a team focused on winning, yeah. knowing all too well what it's like to lose. We had Cole Rhodes that was killed this year in a car accident right after Christmas break. Kids that are 15, 16, 17 years old aren't used to having to deal with that sort of thing. His teammates were his family. It was really tough and it still is. And from the stands, his mother watched over them like a guardian angel. I still had that angel. It's in his pocket right now. She gave Cole that trinket when he was a little boy and he held on to it till the day he died. I think he's here. He's watching us. He's helping the team. Mitch, stand right next to him. Chase, you stay back. How Cole would have wanted to be here this day to play with his cousins. But I know that Cole would want us to be here for Tyson and Austin and the whole team. A match so important. There's a chance. Kalichi couldn't let it end without a win. With their fists held high, reaching to the heavens, Cole's parents knew their son was reaching back. It's been a long year. It's been a hard year. This was about more than a win. He was with us. <laughs> it was about family, community, the person they loved, and ultimately, the person they lost. I love you guys. I love you so much. This was for Cole. I knew they could do it. I knew they could do it. With photojournalist Chris Hansen, this is Kevin Torres, 9 News. The Buffaloes defeated Sierra Grande by a final score of 84 to 77. This is the fourth straight year the Buffaloes won the Class 1A Boys State Championship. I've never seen fire move so fast. It danced with the wind. I thought the propane tank was going to go. And took a hard spill outside the home of Lori Miller's grandma. I don't know, Grandma. Won't be seeing you looking through the windows at us no more. Oh, I tell you, it was a bad deal. Any way you look at it, it was bad. Bad doesn't begin to describe it. We could hear all the ammunition going on. Oh, yeah? And that's when we were out there, I don't think it's safe! <laughs> it smelled like gunpowder so much, and we could hear shells going off. I'm like, okay, you don't know who's going to go ping, 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 ping this way. The horses out back hoofed it. If they would have been under the loafing shed, they would have been gone. Just as fast as Florence and her family evacuated. Oh, there comes a plane over. He's probably going to take pictures. No matter what angle you look at it, you'll never know what was truly lost. You lived here a long time, didn't you? Oh, yeah. Right. Most probably if it was here for better than 70 years here. 70 years, jeez. Seven decades worth of memories were made here. Weddings happened. Grandma's rings are in there somewhere. And loved ones were lost. I'll tell you, if he would have been here and seen what he just would have passed out. It would have just killed him. Because he couldn't have done It's hard to say goodbye to something that is already gone. But that wire was down. We knew it was live, so we tried to go through there, and the posts were burning. Now it's about holding on to what is left. Family. I don't know. It was something. With photojournalist Kevin Sullivan in Yuma. Oh, this, man, it was unbelievable. This is Kevin Torres, 9 News. <laughs> yes, those are great moon shots. Around the time the moon rests its sleepy head. Ooh, oh, there we go. And the early morning sun rises from a well-rested nap. Gorgeous light. A perfect blend of day and night mixed together, creating a perfect canvas. Oh, uh, well, they're just kind of cold and sleepy. For a photographer to capture with their lens. It's gorgeous. It's really gorgeous. This is a sight no one wants to miss. <laughs> it's like, what are they doing? And all of a sudden, one will come through, and the whole thing will go, ah! 
will start screeching. They follow the sun as it yawns over the mountains. The light, oh my gosh, the light is amazing in the morning. Breathing new life into the afternoon and bringing new scenery with them. This is excellent, the view, the birds, there's just thousands of them, we're so jazzed. It's totally awesome. They're really an unusual bird. Come on, come on, get it, get it, get it, get it, come on. They tend to make this really weird noise. What does it sound like? <laughs> Not exactly musical, no. <laughs> Well, I had one lady describe it as something prehistoric. <laughs> that noise might be unique, but their dance? It's a part of their mating ritual. Well, that's something else. Dance around, look at that. Oh my goodness, oh yeah. There you go. They're just like us. Some of them don't get along with the others. <laughs> they'll select their mates and they'll leave from here and then they disperse. As the afternoon fades into the evening. I'm guessing there's probably 5,000 total over all the different fields. Dark dots dash through the blue mountain sky. And the sky will just be blacked out with birds. If there was a sight more beautiful than the ones you've already seen, this will be it. In the mountain backdrop, this is too good. A cloud of cranes intertwine mid-flight with other species, creating something you can only see a few times a year. All seem to commingle very nicely. This is what they refer to as heaven on earth. Maybe we should learn something from that. In Monte Vista, this is Kevin Torres. Love it. Nine News. <laughs>